Hi my friends, today we model this part, it is interesting enough to be modeled by us. This is the drawing with all the necessary dimensions. This is the part number 17 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts new empty document take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD not Bender because we create uh, mechanical parts we start by creating these two circles and the radius 4 distance of 25 radius 15 radius 25 and this distance of 5 new sketch xz plane then circles this is one this is the other and I draw a line a vertical line from this point to this point along the axis but it is not well placed we have to apply coincident between the line and the center point this is the center point why because we cut this this and these two we also apply fillet between these two now we have a robust construction the shape is uh, maintained even if I move entities then dimensions this is radius 25 almost 25 it is this is uh, 15 and the uh, fillet is 4 then this line is construction line the distance between the centers is 25. Now I create a rectangle here with the dimension of uh, 5 divided by 2. because I want to trim this entity then I eliminate the rectangle and I keep on the same horizontal this point with this point and the distance of uh, five divided by two we have a fully constrained sketch close now we create another sketch this one with dimensions 24 2 and 2 and also 2 okay we create another sketch based on this plane and we project this line and create polyline with that uh, shape
more or less similar. Why? Because we can apply constraints to each. For instance, these two are equal. This are also equal and this point, this point and the line are symmetrical. You can verify this by moving entities. I also apply coincident of this line with this point. Then dimensions. 20 is this and 2 and 2 and 4 is this. We have a fully constrained sketch, close and you see the result. Then we apply sweep of this profile on this path. To do this we select the last sketch, this one. We use this uh, tool and we select the object to be this. Okay. You see that we have uh, the first volume. Then we create this uh, feature and uh, since we don't have any other dimension we'll keep this section for the new feature. For that uh, sketch we need the datum plane. We select the tool, we select the face and now we know that we have to use this uh, z direction of the local coordinate. Coordinates of this z is perpendicular on it. So if we rotate the wheel of the mouse, we go to the left or to the right. We want to do, to place it uh, to the right. This means minus. We have minus 5 divided by 2. Now we can get this uh, line. We create a new sketch based on this plane. No problem if it is uh, reverted. We hide the datum plane. As you can see. And we project this line in the drawing. Then a polyline going down, applying triple M, 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 M from the keyboard. You know this. Now I don't want to go uh, tangent and I apply M, M twice. I want to close this contour. We know this uh, dimension of 55 between these two points. We know that we have to place here tangent we select the two and we select 
tangent. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. Close and pad. Reverts it and uh, with a thickness of two. Okay. We use this plane for a new sketch. Then we project this line and we draw another contour starting from here up MMM going here once again I don't want to be tangent M M and I go right here I close I don't close this because I go to external but I stop for the moment to project other entities also this and this we place coincident this point with this point we apply tangent between these two because we don't we really know that it was not and these two I cannot place together so I place here the dimension of zero let's see if we can I know this is 15 but what about this I apply 15 because we know this dimension okay now I draw other polyline starting from here going to the left point MMM point we go on this line here and back to here I apply section to see how that uh, lines looks look well I select this horizontal and we have a fully constrained sketch very good close and we apply now pad or extrusion on two millimeters again okay very good next work is to select this face for a new sketch then project this circle and create another circle finish close extrusion 
to the first face. Not good. We select up to face. What face? This face. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Now it's the time to apply mirror. We select the tool, mirror, <laughs> we see something interesting, but we use the plane YZ. Okay. The last feature is this uh, hole through with diameter of 15. We select this face, new sketch, project this we have a center we place a circle without uh, dimension close then hole of uh, 15 through all okay that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.